Oh my goodness. There is a brand new AI model that's making waves right now. And trust me, you're going to want to see what this can do. From text to video, image to video, and stunning hyper-realistic generations to next-level editing and effects, this tool just dropped its 2.0 update with a new model. And it's honestly a game changer. And the best part, unlike tools like VO3 that cost about $250, this tool is free to use. I'm going to walk you through everything on how to use it and how to get the best out of your credits. So make sure you watch the video carefully to avoid wasting your credits. Also, I have created a document on how to make money with AI. If you want it, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe and comment. I want the full document and my bot will be sure to send it to you. Let's get into it. So this is the name of the tool that I'm going to be showing you today and it's called Vivago AI. Now you can go to your browser and search for it and you'll see it, but don't worry. The link would be in the description. As you can see here, unleash creativity and productivity with Gen AI. Now this tool has always been relatively good, but they just released a 2.0 update, which just pushed the boundaries of their model. And I would show you what I mean in just a second. As you can see here, this is also another good part of this tool, which is you can try it for free, which is insane when you see the quality of this tool. Now don't rush into creating an account because you might waste your credits. So really watch this video well, so you can see how best you can utilize the credits you get. So yeah, as you can see here, you can try it for free. And let's cut the chit chat and click on try for free. So once you click it, you should be presented with this interface here. As you can see, there are various templates. So if you click on more, and as you can see, they have a lot, and I mean a lot of popular templates. And we'll test that out eventually with this, their new model. Yeah, so let's go back. And as you can see, this is the discover page. And as you can see, these are the various different community contents. These are the various different contents that the community has published. So let's look at some of them. So let's take a look at this one. And as you can see, it looks good. The skin texture specifically looks amazing. And it did a good job with the subtle movements and the blinking with no morphings whatsoever. And here is the image that was used and the prompt. Now, one small but really important reason I like this tool is the translate feature. Like most other tools, you can see other people's prompts in different languages, but this tool gives you the ability to translate it to English, which I think is a small but underrated feature. So let's take a look at another one. As you can see, this is some sort of video game or 3D animation and it looks just amazing. So yeah, let's also take a look at this one. Look at this one of the cat playing the guitar. and it looks amazing. So let's just immediately go on to start generating. So if we go back here, we can see the image generator, which we'll test out first. So as we can see, we can just put in a prompt here. Let's put in a prompt like this. Then, as you can see over here, we get prompt hints, which we can refresh. Then over here is the prompt enhance feature. If you slide down, you can see that we can upload a reference image but we don't need that. And for the model, be sure that this professional mode is selected because, as you can see here, it's the one with the 2.0 model, and that's what we want to use. So for the image count, I think we select two. The aspect ratio, we leave it at one by one and click on generate. Now, as you can see, it's done generating. And let's take a look at what it looks like, and I mean it looks insanely realistic. It did a good job. The dog looks realistic, and even the way he's running on the water looks really realistic. And let's take a look at the second one. And I prefer the first one more, but it did a good job here too. I mean, the reflections and all, it caught it perfectly. And over here, we can download this, add it to favorites, share it, or publish it. Then if we go over here, as you can see, we can send it to video, send it to lip sync, enhance, expand, repaint, or erase. Then we could either retry it or recreate it, which is really nice. So let's just download this, go back here, and download this one, and let's try a prompt for our AI influencer. Let's say something like this. So let's give the simple prompt like this, and then we can just slide down. And remember to always be sure that this professional is selected. So you can use the 2.0 model to not waste your credit and just click on generate and let's see what it cooks. So now in no time at all, in literally seconds, it's done. And this is what it cooked. And boy, oh boy, this first one looks super realistic. 
I mean, even the texture of the clothing she's wearing looks really good, really realistic. So let's take a look at the second one. And this also looks amazing. I mean, they really did their work on this V2 model. So let's just download this. And let me show you another cool feature that this tool has. I mean, other tools have it too, but this one is just more precise. And that's the image repaint feature. First thing we have to do is go here and then go to repaint. So for example, if we want something to be changed about this photo, you can literally highlight wherever you want. For example, let's say here, you can literally highlight wherever you want and go here. Put in a prompt of what you want to replace that part with or what you want to add to the image. So let's just put a simple word like this. Now, just this simple word and let's just click on replace and you'll see what I mean when I say this. As we can see, it's done. Now take a look at what it cooked for us. And I mean, look at how clean it's added the glasses on there. It looks really, really clean. And with this tool, you can literally select any part of the image and add something to it or replace it with something. And most other AI tools don't really present you with that level of customization. So let's use the video tools. So just go over here to video generation. And as you can see, they offer image to video, text to video, and these effects. Now these effects are really nice, but first of all, let's try text to video. So let's basically put in a simple prompt like this. A prompt like this. And remember, as always, be sure to select this professional mode so you can use the 2.0 model. And then for the duration, as we can see, it can go all the way to 10 seconds. So for the sound effects, we can either choose this to add the sound effects to the video or not. So let's turn it on and see how accurate it will be. For the aspect ratio, we can leave it at 16 by nine and click on generate. And let's see how it cooks. And it's done generating. So let's see what it cooked. And I mean, just the quality alone looks nice. Let's turn on the audio. and it got the audio perfectly. It really accurately replicated the sound of the waves on the beach. Like I honestly didn't expect it to be so good, but I mean, it did an amazing job. So let's move on to the image to video and upload an image. Let's upload this image that we used this very tool to generate. And as you can see, it also supports the popular start and end frame feature. Now for the prompt, we leave it empty. As always, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know that we leave it to see how the model really understands the image on its own. And for the pro version, now this is the new V2 model and it can output 1080p quality video, which is just insane. So we leave all of that and click on generate and it's done. Let's see what it cooked for us. As you can see, it did a good job. Normally other tools would result to panning the camera a bit but this one actually moves the objects of the video, which is just really nice. So now let's give it a prompt, something like this. So we have this prompt over here and we could just click on generate. Now it's done and let's see what it cooked. And wow, they have really done work on this V2 model because I can't see any visual morphing whatsoever. Not even when she touches her hair, unlike other models. It just all looks so fluid and realistic. I mean, I think this one video shows how powerful this tool is. It just looks amazing. Then over here, we can send it to lip sync or we could remove the background. Let's click on download to download this because I mean, why not? This has really impressed me so far now. So let's try the effects. For the effects, let's look for the satisfying cutting effect. So for this satisfying cut effect, we have to upload an object. So we have this image over here of a glass looking strawberry and we can set the aspect ratio and click on confirm. So this is it. I can simply click on generate and it's done. So let's see what it cooks. And as you can see, it did a good job on the effect. So that's it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more AI content like this and I'll catch you in the next one.